Brewers hosting the Cubs. The Cubs are minus 134 on the money line. The Brewers are plus 114. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Cubs laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 125, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Brewers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 150, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Neither pitcher pitched against the opposing team last year or this year, and the weather won't be a factor. Head to head, the home team is seven and three. The Cubs are six and four. The underdog has won the last three games they played against each other. The underdog is six and four on the money line, and the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is eight and two. There have been four one run games in their last ten. The under is seven and three, and the under seven and a half is seven and three. The Cubs are four and one in Amanga's last five starts. The under is hitting his last four. The under is four and one in those games. Six and a third innings pitch, 5.2 hits, 0.6 earned runs, 7.4 strikeouts, 1.4 walks, 0.4 home runs, 92.6 pitches per game, and 14.6 pitches per inning. For the Brewers, they are 2-3 and three in Wilson's last five starts. The under has hit in all five starts. Five innings, 3.6 hits, 1.4 earned runs, 3.8 strikeouts, 2.8 walks, 0.6 home runs. He gave up a home run in his last two starts. 78.6 pitches and 15.9 pitches per inning. The Cubs are 3-7 and seven in their last 10. 13 runs, 7 runs, 6 runs, 9 runs. 6 runs and a loss, 3 runs and a loss, 1 run and a loss, and then uh, 6 runs in a win today. For the Brewers... They are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. 9 runs, 3 runs, 6 runs, 9 runs. 6 runs and a win, 1 run and a loss, 5 runs and a win, 3 runs and a loss. Provided that both of these pitchers pitch the way that they have been the last handful of outings, it should be a low-scoring pitcher's duel. And considering that Wilson is the one who's been giving up home runs a little bit more frequently than uh, Amanga, I'm going to lean with the Cubs with the money line. I'm going to take... The Brewers getting the runs, and I'm going to go under and say that maybe this is a 2-1, to one, one nothing kind of game, unless the bullpen comes in and completely, you know, craps the bed. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.